Thanks, thanks. If we could quieten down, then we can start with the questions now. That's all we have time for.
It is a game of massive significance. Only four teams remain in the hunt for the Carabao Cup. Who's going to come out on top in this semi-final? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray. to go in but marvellous defending <laughs> now delivering that deep cross well four marks to him for that header And played short. Gabby. Casemiro. And the textbook interception. Could play it in. This could be the equaliser. Oh, but he's missed it. He's completely... going to be enough. Mbappe. Vinicius. Using all. The final whistle has sounded and Manchester United will go into the second leg with the lead. Well, they'll be pleased with that victory, but it's a slender lead they're taking into the second leg and I think they'll be confident, but it's going to be tight, that's for sure.
A very impactful occasion here at the Theatre of Dreams. We're in the northwest for Manchester United against Spurs, and it's anyone's guess who's going to come out on top. Next on EA TV. And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Might it be Mbappe? So near, but wide. And easily cut out in the end. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. And he's through here. And nicely parried away. Corner awarded to Manchester United. Elects to go short. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, back underway here. How will Spurs reply to that setback? Quite the cross he was hoping for. Well, here's the table, and it's clear to see why there's been so much disappointment amongst the Arsenal fans. They have been playing below expectations, you've got to say. Well, things just don't seem right at the club, do they? They should really be challenging for the title, but over the course of the season, they've just not performed as a unit. Is it going to be? Terrific block there. Brilliantly blocked. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. The verdict is offside here. Ball played nicely. Bentancourt. And space to cross it. Well, the keeper certainly didn't want to gamble with that, and a corner it'll be. Can someone get on the end of this? And he clears the danger. Just waiting for the support to arrive. It's the turn of Spurs now. Well, plenty of talk about him from the pundits coming into today's match. Up against his old club, and that's never easy for a footballer. A oh, sure. a great opportunity here. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Moreno. And well, he stopped them in their tracks.
on the pass a good one Son and playing it back well not to be and they need to get going in an attacking sense here well in their position this sort of chance needs to be taken Casemiro Jude Bellingham that's a good pass And the keeper there to deal with it. Short corner favoured. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. And short it is. Possibilities here. He read the situation defensively and did his job. for power and so close to finding the net well as you can see United have been really good going forward they've created so many chances and if they score again soon it could become very embarrassing no mistake from the keeper will it be punished well just overplayed it and comfortable for the keeper And the ball back with United. Moreno. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And he's in. And a goal it is, the keeper really not part of the equation. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Son. Moreno got to it easily the keeper Gabby now with Bellingham oh that's splendid play oh genuine chance just the clearance that was called for well not very clever defending but no damage done, that's the main thing. Son. And Bellingham. Can he put it away? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Well, they're going for the short one. Can he finish? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Taken short. Chance here, and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, the short corner routine. Plays it back. And so the referee blows the whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Old Trafford. Well, a complete performance from Jude Bellingham and one that has caught the eye. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. And the second half underway, it really was a dazzling first 45 from United. Incisive pass from Mbappe. Oh yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it.
Well, we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. A lopsided contest. 4-0. Gerard Moreno. And on to Kurusevsky. It's with Vinicius Junior. A danger here as he runs at them. Shaping to shoot. And a fine stop. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Short corner it is. Firing it towards goal. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Elects to go short. Textbook defending inside the box. What a big breaking story to pass along to you. I can tell you that Piotr Zielinski has completed his move to St. James's Park, Stewart. Well, at £30 million pounds or thereabouts, he represents good value for money. He's got a lot of skill, and I think he'll add quality to their squad. There's no doubt about that. A real opening now. He's blocked it. <laughs> Playing it short. And cut again from the flank. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. Oh, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Son. Given away by Tottenham. Sends it back. Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. So a half an hour remaining. Bisuma. Plenty of support here. Son. And crossed in there. Cleared away. Well, don't forget we have the decisive second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final coming up for you live on EA TV. It's Manchester United taking on Leicester City. Well, it's all to play for in the second leg. What a contest it will be with so much riding on it. A place in the final. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. And he might be through here. And cleared away. Spurs did well to win back possession. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Bisuma. Here's Moreno. Opportunity, Moreno. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Teammates available. But nothing comes of it. Just 20 minutes remaining now. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Oh, he saved it well. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Tottenham Hotspur facing Brentford. Bisuma. Good work to win the ball back by United. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. And a change for Spurs at this juncture.
Well, that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper. Gabby. Well, a really good run. Gerard Moreno. Visuma. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Oh, well, good vision. And putting pay to the danger. Mbappe. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch. Short corner it is. Jude Bellingham. And he takes on the shot. And not cleared away properly. And the danger cleared. Casemiro. Here's Martial now. He's gone cutting in, Martial. Well, that was never likely to trouble the keeper. Bisuma. And here's Gerard Moreno. Son. And no problems at all for the keeper. Bellingham is with Vinicius Junior. Martial. Manchester United have lost the ball. Moreno. Firing it towards goal. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Here's a change for Manchester United. And over comes the corner. Good bit of defending. Emerson. Now a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Vinicius Junior. Getting in there to intercept. Bentancur. It might be on for them. Just couldn't get it through. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance, all told? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. And, well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. Some questions regarding the match. Thank you for your time.
Thank you all for waiting. We'll be taking questions now. Right, we'll be wrapping up now.
The pre-match focus on Kylian Mbappe. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? Will you please make some noise as we welcome our visitors, Manchester United? It's Leicester City. They face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. And hello to you from the English Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's a very important occasion, the second leg of this semi-final. It's Leicester City up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, it's all to play for here. This is going to be a really fascinating second leg. But I've just got a feeling United will play well tonight and make the most of their slender lead. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4-3-3, but they've got to be effective, both with their dribbling and their crosses. Otherwise, they'll become bit-part players. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4-3-3 formation, so they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to score another goal today because he's got four in the last three games. He's a player full of confidence. And every time he makes a forward run, he looks as though he's going to get in behind. He's in outstanding form at the moment. And up for grabs off the keeper. Vardy. Dewsbury Hall. The Foxes moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, he's been forced out of play this time. Gabby. Jude Bellingham. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Well, sitting deep here, almost inviting the pressure. In position, and a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Mabadidi. And Bellingham. With a textbook interception. Well, that was incisive. Might it be Mbappe? And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, let's have another look at this because Mbappe shows such skill to go beyond the defender. And what a finish from Mbappe. He gives the keeper absolutely no chance. It's such a powerful strike. Vardy. Fatawu Isahaku. Went in strongly, decisively. Vardy. And still danger here. He's in here.
Can he make it count? Well, I was on the cusp of saying he's at it again. Look as though he might score again. Well, he's certainly looking sharp today. That could easily have been his second there. Firing it in. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Three goals without reply. Indeedy. Really good challenge. Mbappe and threaded through by Mbappe he just needs to stay level headed now oh a finish of real class no wonder he's celebrating take a bow well let's take another look at the replay what a through ball this is by Mbappe and what a great finish it is he just lifts the ball over the keeper into the back of the net that's a well constructed goal Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Steffi Mabadidi. Justin. And over the byline it goes. So a goal kick coming up here. Casemiro. Gabi. Vinicius. Can they put it away? Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. And United have it back. And he's in. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor. But he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Isahaku. And Bellingham. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? Tremendous block. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Leicester did well to win the ball back. Isahaku. Dennis Pryat. We're totaling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. Bellingham and playing it through oh it's almost did the trick for them great defending the referee's whistle the first half story has been written it's half time here at the King Power Stadium
Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, Manchester United unable to retain possession. Dennis Pryat. Well, he successfully got past him, but a good piece of tidying up. And the counter looks on here, options available. He just needs to keep a cool head. It has to be, surely. Well, fantastic reflex action. Determined defending. Here it is now, a substitution. Number 26, Dennis Pratt, to be replaced by number 8, Harry Winks. He takes aim, just couldn't get it through. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more, it's fact. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play at his best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. And Bellingham, Vinicius Jr. Electing to shoot, and a decent save, full credit. Has eyes for goal. Sound piece of defending. And making his move inside. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. So a half an hour remaining. And it's Winks. Well, don't forget, action from the fourth round of the FA Cup is coming your way on EA TV. It's Leicester City facing Sheffield United. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. Firing it towards goal. The save was a good one. Bellingham. Mbappe with it. Making progress is Kylian Mbappe. And take it away. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Substitution time it is here. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. And you cannot argue with a hat-trick. Simply unstoppable today. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. Well, it's an out-and-out pasting. 6-0. Twenty minutes remaining. Cody. Fass. Well, there's a living, breathing example of positional sense. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. An example of a goalkeeper in top form here. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. And it's United's turn now. And cutting in from the flank. 
Casimiro. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Now the counter-attack looks on. Well, it wasn't the best piece of finishing, in all honesty. Goal kick. Yeah, it was all good until that final effort. Just shows you how devastating they can be on the break, though. Well, spot on with that challenge. Vardy. And it's Winks. Oh, might be. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Bellingham. And he's in. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And he's made headway. Keeper did his job to begin with. Offside the decision. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Counter-attacking very much an option. Martial. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Manchester United goal, number nine, Anthony Martial. Steffi Mabadidi. Dewsbury Hall. Disappointing for Leicester to give it away like that. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Mavididi, determined defending. Anthony Martial. Advantage, Manchester United. Gabby. Well, it did look promising, but the referee blows for full time and Manchester United go marching on to the final. Well, what a good win that was over the two games. Their attacking play has been brilliant. If they can repeat that in the final, they have every chance of lifting the trophy. Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight. Well, that was a top-class display, wasn't it? He did everything right. He inspired them to victory here today. Uh, just a moment of your time.
Thank you. That's all the questions we have.